Hi everyone, welcome back to Media Moogle. It's I, Old Gamer Joe, here with another Media Moogle review for you today. And we are looking at a full motion video indie adventure, Dark Knights with Poe and Monroe. This one comes from Dia Vecchi Studio, and perhaps you're familiar with their work, The Shapeshifting Detective and The Infectious Madness of Dr. Decker. But if you're not and you don't know much about full motion video games, they're basically interactive movies where at certain points you can make choices that will affect the outcomes. There's two lead characters, as you probably could have guessed, in this game, and it's broken up into six episodes. Those leads are Poe and Monroe, radio hosts of the show Dark Nights with Poe and Monroe, which is a show all about exploring dreams or nightmares. Generally on an episode, they take calls from listeners who call in with those dreams, share them, and then they give insight on what they think of those dreams. Fairly similar to what we've done here at Media Moogle, the two have developed their own company, Radio August, with the hopes of having more and more shows under that one banner, Dark Nights with Poe and Monroe being the first show. But as you'll come to find out pretty quickly in this game, Dark Knights gets some pretty odd callers to say the least. It is a show about dreams and nightmares after all, so I suppose that is somewhat expected. These calls will typically serve as the basis for each episode, setting up an intriguing and often supernatural plot. You know, the 90s full motion video games were all about bad acting and kind of playing them for a laugh more than anything, really, particularly when you look back on them now. But that's not the case here because the acting across the board is actually quite excellent and the production values are really pretty high on this title. John Pope, or Poe as he is referred to in the game, is played by the talented Clemens Coring, and Ellis Monroe is played by the beautiful and equally talented Leah Cunard, and they have a great dynamic together that really works well. As the game is not afraid to delve into the supernatural on more than one occasion, I was often reminded of one of my favorite shows of the 90s, The X-Files, and the dynamic between these two characters, similar to Mulder and Scully, is also kind of reminiscent of that show. Every time the character of Monroe was on the screen, I couldn't help but be captivated by her witty dialogue, her fun flirtation, and the fact that she's such an intelligent character and knows exactly what she's doing at the same time really makes her likable. And then of course, thanks to Poe's witty banter and a great performance of his own, it's hard to believe that they aren't an actual couple. They work that well together, it's very convincing, and the dialogue that they exchange between each other is always entertaining. The excellent performances of the two lead characters is helped by a good screen which always features entertaining stories across the six different episodes, whether it's Poe wanting to go chase after a werewolf that may or may not exist, or the two deciding to take a murder mystery into their own hands, it's all well written, it's all completely entertaining, and even though your first playthrough only takes you about three hours or so, there's plenty of choices that you'll make along the way which will change things up and present you with more scenes. So in order to see everything in the game and to complete all of the achievements, you're going to have to do multiple playthroughs. I also loved how these choices were very stylistically presented into the movie itself. There's very little interruption. Everything kind of seems to flow naturally. There are a few selections in the game that you'll make which will result in repeat footage, and that can take you out of the experience a little bit, but on the whole, it's a very stylistic, flashy, and well put together product. At the end of an episode, you'll be presented with a list of your choices, and that will show you the percentage of players who also have played the game and which choices they made and how you stack up against them. And yes, it does tie a little bit into the other games that have been released by the developer, but for the most part, you don't really have to worry about it, and you can totally be fine playing this game on its own as a standalone product if you don't wish to go back to Dr. Decker, which, to be honest with you, is quite a bit of a different game compared to this, with more typing involved. The callbacks in this game mostly seem there for fans of the developer's previous work, so you don't really have to worry about it if you are a newcomer. Overall, it's the great dynamic between Coonerd and Coring that you're going to remember about Dark Knights with Poe and Monroe. The dynamic between the two was absolutely my favorite part of this whole game, and it really works well the entire duration of it. For all of the cash grab performances I've seen in the last few years in Hollywood, it's nice to see some talented up-and-comers get a true opportunity here. Even outside of the lead characters, all of the cast really puts their heart and soul into this product, making a really immersive, entertaining experience that full motion video fans will absolutely love. Welcome back to Radio August Treasure Hunt, sponsored by August Museum. Earlier today, I placed nine capsules in and around town for you lovely listeners to find, and one of them was sealed by the curator himself. Find that capsule and you'll win. A hot dinner date with me, Alice Monroe. 
For more on Dark Nights with Poe and Monroe, head on over to MediaMoogle.net where we have some great podcasts like I Dream of Indie for you to check out. And if you have enjoyed our video coverage today, please do consider hitting the subscribe button below. If you really like us, you can head on over to Patreon.com slash MediaMoogle where we have three wonderful tiers to choose from, or you can feel free to leave a donation in the description box below. However you end up supporting MediaMoogle, thank you for helping us to bring a voice to the voiceless ones in gaming.